Hey there, this is the Oracle of the Feather Crown Tree and this is your root chakra reading for this week. The issue that we're going to be focusing on for this reading is how can I feel supported, connected, and safe in my body to know that I am grounded in pure spirit. I'll leave a little timestamp below too because I do intuitive ter interpretations now of the readings. Um, and maybe someday I'll get really good at weaving the two together. But I'm a novice, so we're doing um, readings from the book, from the authors to start off with. So this week we have Affluence and Our Lady of Holy Fire. So the mantra with the Affluence card is, I choose to be debt-free and to live an affluent and healthy life. Now, offering a little support to this message from the Mother Mary Oracle, we have Our Lady of Holy Fire. When we don't have spiritual passion in our heart, we fall in love with empty substitutes. We might yearn for a fantasy relationship that never quite manifests or does for a short time before revealing itself to be less than substantial. Or perhaps we yearn for a great job with a great income only to find that even if we achieve this, there is still a space in our hearts that is not satisfied by what we have attained. To feel truly connected to our own divine destiny, we have to be willing to allow our hearts to burn for something greater than our own individual needs and wants. It is not comfortable to do this, but it is fulfilling in a way that cannot be attained by any other method. You hold within you this mystical heart, beloved, and Our Lady comes to you with acknowledgement of this and appreciation for your spiritual passion. If you have been feeling that your faith has been wavering or finding it difficult to trust that a situation will work out or doubting yourself, fearing that you are not honoring your inner wisdom in a particular situation. Our Lady comes to you with comfort. She reinforces your spiritual strength now. She reminds you of the unlimited divine resources you have access to through her grace. She reminds you that to love is to burn in a spiritual fire for the divine and that this fire is in your heart ignited. She reminds you that you are her child, yes, but you are a living divine flame filled with her power and glory, and nothing shall subdue your light or spirit. I'm going to take a little peek here to see what I get intuitively for you. I'm seeing that there's this feeling kind of of a fantasy land, like you are maybe trying to build a fairly surreal um, environment full of sort of a domestic energy, a very feminine domestic energy, and that perhaps you're just enjoying being lost in that. Maybe there's something that you enjoy doing at the home and it could even be like a craft or something, maybe gardening. And you're just enjoying maybe taking a little time out. And you could be on pause and not really f feeling the need to move forward. You know that you can move forward if you want, but you also understand that it's okay to take a little time out and that things aren't going to crumble if you do that that there will still be harmony because you did take a little rest. And I am seeing that there's a very supportive energy for this too, to develop maybe more intuition, more inner vision, more just calm, peace, and restore a sense of flow into your life and 
make sure that you are in touch with your heart space and that you are taking your cues from there to what you're putting out into your environment, that you are acting from there and building wisdom and beauty through the heart chakra space that is your seat of groundedness for you right now. That's what I have for you right now for the, this reading for this week. So I do a different chakra for each day of the week. So please tune in if you want. That way you can tune your entire system throughout the week. And then we start over again the, the following week. Um, thank you for being here and sending you many blessings.